So, I one time as did this to my group. I was just thinking back about this. You no, know, it's not going to end well for the group when Joaquin says, "I one time did this to my group." <laughs> For those of you who are watching the series, you're like, oh, this should be good. (laughs) So, this group, they were like, I don't know, 10th, 12th level, and they come upon this this mountain cliff, and it was rumored that um, there was an ancient oracle who lived up there who could answer any question if you did him a favor. And so, you know, they reach up there, they fought some cloud giants, they even even battled a blue dragon on the way up. What? And um, when they finally, you know, we're talking like 50 miles, they had to travel through mountains to get up to this one particular mountain cliff. And they get to this, this huge, like, tower. And in the tower lived the Titan. And so when, you know, when, when the players first found out of the Titan, they were like, oh, this is cool, you know, so we're role-playing and all that. And so the Titan goes, I will answer one question. And uh, he takes him into this room, and it's this giant library. And he's like, I'll answer one question, and if I don't know the answer offhand, uh, you can have access to my library. And... You know, I let them know some of the spellcasters. I go, you see, like, little small books that are really thick, but they look to be spellcaster books. And so mm-hmm. they were like, everybody was just like, oh, my God, we get to ask that question, or we get to do this. Like, okay, what do we need to do? He goes, I need you to take this important message. And he gives them a letter, this big letter, like scroll. And mm-hmm. um, they have to track. Like halfway across Greyhawk, from one Man. end almost to the other, and um, they end up with this other Titan, who's a female Titan, who reads the scroll and gets pissed off at them mm-hmm. because she doesn't want anything to do with his Titan or his love letter. <laughs> If you could see the looks on their face when they finally found out what it was, because I said it's magically sealed, and if it's tampered with, um, the other person will know. Like, I didn't even let them know it was another Titan. I just gave them the location and a map. (laughs) Oh, that's uh, you had a line. (laughs) They were, were, like, so disappointed because one of the conditions was – if they had to bring back the response, and and uh, he did that, then we're all good to go. <laughs> like, man, we ain't going back there. Wah, wah, wah. So that's how I ended the session. Oh. And so the next session, they spent like part of it trying to convince the Titanist to at least send him a letter. He's like, you don't even have to respond that you know, that you're taking with him. You can just respond, like, never write me again, or I don't want to yeah. see you again. And they explain... for a restraining order. Yeah, they... <laughs> Titan restraining order. Next on Titans <laughs> and Gods. <laughs> so, um, I let them... Like, they role-played really well, and um, they thought it was kind of messed up because we spent, like, three, three days playing for them to get one day to one end to the other. Shit. <laughs> Cause like a day a day two, they're um they had like magic carpets and um I had a dragon attack them and they ripped up their magic carpet. It was a red, giant Asian red dragon. <laughs> they killed him. Yeah, they did kill him, but then they were all happy and then they couldn't find the lair. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> they're so pissed. Oh man! So you mean I felt, you so put a I, hashtag on that? That hashtag, hashtag failed love, <laughs> lost love. Um, That's some crap. So oh, she writes a quick letter, and she gives it back. And um, I, I even have the Titan kind of feel sorry for, for them. And um, part of her like revenue or um. Her little like companions and stuff. One of them was like a wizard, 
And so he teleported them back yeah, over to yeah. the Titan. <laughs> and like, bitch, you better have a ride. <laughs> they, were, they were like looking at me like, we got to cross all not... through here again. And I was just like, hmm. Yeah, we don't have our magic carpets anymore because that stupid, lairless, homeless red dragon. <laughs> but it was that funny because, like, when I made the map for the red dragon lair, they went in the opposite direction oh, go looking for it. Right? So it, it, they're like, well, how can we track its lair? I go, I don't know. You tell me. And, like, we, they had a ranger, and he's like, what, there's no trail? Like, I go, how are you going to find a trail in the sky? Right? It's not comp trails. <laughs> they don't leave chem trails behind like they do now. Yeah. In 5th edition, they'd be like, well, I can track anything. Like, what? Yeah, no, you can't. <laughs> yeah, so. You dumb dummy. Yeah, so uh, that was my uh, Titan. So they got back there. They got some information. Um, a Titan was really upset when he saw the uh, <laughs> restraining order type message. But he kept his word. and um. He, he, they chose at that point, they didn't even want a question answered. They just asked. They're like, why are you so stupid? Yeah. They, they were like, you know what? Can we just use the library? We lost a lot of resources getting this over here. And so I let them spend like um, half a session just, you know, thinking about any questions they want to know about something. Uh -huh. And if I could answer it right away, if I didn't, if I couldn't, I would just write it down. And do the research in the next session. I would give it to him. <laughs> you got a lot. To this day, man, when I think of Titans, I think of the Titan love letter. Titan love letter. <laughs> that's gonna be a good. That's gonna be another uh, sub reference that I'm gonna use from now on. <laughs> Hashtag Titan love letter. <laughs> TLL. Hashtag TLL. Oh, we gotta nice. move on. We gotta move on. All right.